Kristen Bellamy. And uh, Kristen, <laughs> thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And we're always talking about the latest health and beauty trends, and most recently it appears one company has gone a little sci-fi on us. These are elevation masks. Gym goers are wearing them all over, and they claim that they can cut the amount of time spent training by about two-thirds. And it's <laughs> meant to simulate high altitude by creating pulmonary resistance strengthening your diaphragm, increasing lung capacity, decreasing workout time, increases the anaerobic threshold, makes your orgasms better, and if you... <laughs> and, and makes you look like Hannibal Lecter. Honestly, more than anything, I think this is going to inhibit wow. your breathing capacity. More than anything, I mean, if you do this for too long, you run the risk of passing out. Oh, so we each get our yeah, Hannibal Lecter. Little, how, do you put, how do you put it on? This is... Now, can you imagine someone wearing this with a hoodie no. in the streets of Chicago? Now, now, no. now, now, now you look like a creeper. I think he's doing some role play and he's not exercising, that's for sure. Try it. No! Yeah. <laughs> I know, we have to, now the like dew's messed freedom. up. Yes. But, I mean, this is not good. No, That's no. hard to breathe. No. Yeah. And your hair looks like now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I mean, Travis, you're the, you're the fitness guru. I mean, there is something to training at altitude. That's why boxers here in SoCal go up to Big Bear Arrowhead. To train at altitude, mile high. This is not. But there's bad. a difference between at altitude. Yes, you have a lower oxygen concentration. If over time you train at high altitude, yes, your red blood cell count may increase. Okay, everyone knows that. But all you're doing with this, in my humble opinion, is you're making it difficult to breathe because the resistance of that that breath you're pulling in. I mean, you can feel the mask sucking against your face. I personally felt incredibly claustrophobic over that, those brief moments oh, that this yeah. was on. And yeah. there's a difference between increasing that airway pressure and actually being in a high altitude environment with lower. I think it gave know, me asthma. <laughs> <laughs> It's them. supposed to labor your breathing, I guess, so you don't have to work out for as long. But I just don't think it's working. No, you can't work out as long because you no, might pass you out. Can't. Right. <laughs> right. So, getting back to the orgasm part, can you imagine? <laughs> Brace yourself, honey, I'm coming. It's like, it's like you know. <laughs> and then you pass out on her. Right. That you kids like American psych out to a whole new dimension. I can't, you know, I can't even joke with this thing on. It's, I couldn't no. have anything resembling, I'll say it, an orgasm with this on because I am so focused on breathing. Breathe. <laughs> One thing I would say, and th this is an important takeaway, there are a lot of people out there who struggle with every breath they take with known lung disease. And my, my humble opinion is the last thing you want to do is increase that difficulty breathing. If you really, I mean, just work out a little bit harder maybe. Um, certainly, look, if people want to use this, go for it. Sure. It's individual choice.